As a framer user, you might wonder how you can create layouts like this inside the framer, these mansory grids. Well, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to do this without writing a single line of code. My name is Nandi, this is Framer University, and let's get started. So if you're wondering, we are on the Visual Electric website. Uh, if you go to their site and then click Inspo, you're gonna see. Well, um, yeah, if you if you click Inspo, you're gonna see this. So I actually downloaded a few of their images and now we're gonna just grab them and put it on this Framer website. So I'm just gonna paste them in here. There you go. And so now, um, you know, we just select this parent frame, which is the grid, which, you know, holds all the little images. And on the right panel, we can simply switch the stack to a grid. If you don't see this, you probably haven't turned this into a layout yet. So just click here and then, you know, click grid. So now you can see that the default setting on grids is not really a mansory grid layout because all of the cells are gonna have the same size uh, in terms of width and height. And no matter what I do here, it is gonna, it's not gonna look great basically. So what we have to do is we just have to click yes here on the mansory. And as you can see, it already looks bad. It doesn't look great uh, because we have to make sure that the column count is not too much. And honestly, uh, at this point, it should be working. <laughs> the reason why it's not working is because at a certain point, it seems like all of these images got the same large height. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna use the fit uh, image option for the height on all of these images. And now, as you can see, it's gonna be fixed. So yeah, as you can see, it's really important when you wanna create these nice mansory grid layouts, um, you have to use the height on auto um, on these images, you know. So all of the image gets the height that, you know, it should get. So all of them will have varying heights. Perfect. So now at this point, we can just select the grid, go to the right panel and just change the column count. So it looks great. Uh, I think we can go with like six uh, or something like that. And we can also change the gap really easily. Uh, we're gonna go with four. So they're pretty close to each other. Now that we have this, um, it looks pretty good, but you know, on phone, uh, not really. So we can easily optimize this by just coming here to tablet and setting the column count to fewer, like four or something. And then here on phone, we can set it to like maybe two. Yeah, it looks much better. But when you have such master grid layout on your website, you might be like, hmm, it would be much better if they had some sort of like appear effect when we land on this website. So they're like all popping in and stuff. So you can do that really easily by just selecting all of these images here on the desktop breakpoint on the right panel, you give them an appear effect and maybe it's gonna like scale in or something. So I'm gonna go give it a scale in effect, really simple. Now, as I load this website, as you can see, they all come in with this effect. However, they all come in at the same time and it would look much better if they were staggered. So. The first image comes in and the second, third, and so on and so forth. However, in Framer, we can do that, but not in this case, because right now we just have a grid and then within all the images have their, you know, appear effect. If I wanted to stagger this, I would need to go select all of these appear effects, go to transition and start adding larger and larger delays in all of these images which would, you know, take um, a while. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have to have all of these images in a CMS. And as you can see, I already have this. I have this images CMS collection, and I basically have a bunch of items within, 
and basically each item is just an image. So if we have this, we can then replace this grid with a CMS collection frame because that will allow us to create an effect which has stagger built in and we don't have to like override the delay values a bunch of times. So let me show you how that's done. I'm gonna just delete this grid for now and I'm gonna to go to the insert panel. And since we have the collection already, the CMS, we can just you know have it here and drag and drop it onto the canvas. And here I'm gonna again just rename this to grid, set the width to fill, and then I'm not gonna limit it. I wanna show all the items. And this here is the CMS collection item frame which is basically what we see for each item. So if I, for example, delete the slug here, as you can see now it's deleted on all of the items. And if I wanna have no corner radius, I can also just set it here. If I want these to be fit height, I can do that as well. And I probably have to set this to fill and the image will also be set to fill. So now it's much better. And all I have to do now is just go to the grid and on the right panel, just turn it into a grid, which is gonna be a mansory. So now I think it should be good. However, I think one thing is, hmm, it feels off, honestly, but I'm not too sure what. So let me just see. So as you can see still, all these images are square, but I don't know why, because the image itself is set to auto um, maybe, actually I have no idea because everything seems to be all right. Maybe we have to set the width here to fit content, but no, that's not really fixing it. So I'm gonna set it to fill, image, fill, the height. Yeah, so these heights should be different because we have fit image and you know all images have different heights. So I have no idea what's wrong. Okay, so it turns out that I had square images in the CMS, so I had to just change the images so all of them have like varying ratios and everything. So now everything should be good. So all the setup that we had was okay, just the images were all square. So width fail, height auto, also in the wrapper frame, uh, height fit should be good. And then the point of this whole CMS setup is now, if I select this CMS collection item, I can give an appear effect to this. And you know, this can be anything like maybe scaling this up a little bit from 0.8 and then, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a bouncy transition. And then you can see we have the stagger here and I can just set it to like, 15 maybe and if I load this as you can see it looks really nice I like you to play around with the stagger value so it can be a little bit more and also play with the delay so these appear after a little delay yeah that looks absolutely amazing and so you know this can be also combined with like other effects in framers such as the light box. So for example, if I select this image here and I go to the right panel effects, click light box. Now we have the light box applied to all of the images. So if I click here, it reloaded. So if I click here, as you can see, it nicely opens in larger size. So yeah, with this setup, you can create really cool layouts inside of Famer and you know, this new feature really makes our life a lot more easier because yeah, previously we have to use code components and all sorts of these crazy solutions, but now it's all native, super easy to use. So if you have any questions about this new feature, make sure to drop a comment. 
I'll do my best to help you. And also check out famer.university for other useful resources, tutorials, remixes. So yeah, if you go to the Framer University website, you'll find over 500 resources as you can see, and all of them are completely free. And all of them have little remix links that you can like remix and you know, take a look into the files. Some of them also have like tutorials. So for example, if one of them have this little tutorial, um, you know, sign or tag, you can, you can know that it has a tutorial. So yeah, if you're learning Framer or you are just a Framer user, I think Framer University will be a pretty great resource for you. So yeah, that's it for this one. Make sure you like it, subscribe for more, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.